hello, hello there, my Pisces. I almost burned my fingernail. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. I am Coco Hummingbird, and this is going to be a week peak reading for you guys. We're going to look into the week of October 1st, or at least the energy around that time. It could go a little past seven days, you know. But we're going to look into um, the beginning of October and, you know, try to focus on that first week and see what messages we get for you guys. Um, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in, clicking that button. I mean, um, click that button <laughs> and um, like, share, subscribe, etc. If you're returning, thanks for coming back, my beautiful, beautiful fellow hummingbirds. All right, let's see, Pisces. You have summer, bask, and joy and light. So I didn't even ask the question yet, but I feel like you guys are either missing summer or, you know, just trying to keep yourself in the summer mindset. When I say that, kind of in the adventure mindset, in the joyous, upbeat mindset, the light, light. I feel like that's a big deal for you right now, Pisces. You're trying to keep yourself in a light vibration and a light mindset, um, very upbeat. Especially during this first week of October. I feel like some of you are like, dang, time flew by. Like, it's October, you know? Like, some of you are definitely probably feeling like, okay, it's time to regroup and recuperate and figure out what next. Wise one, grow within from your current situation. So, some of you could have some pretty puppy situations. And that's probably why you're trying to stay light or light-minded. You know, keep yourself in a good energy and a good vibration. Um, you could have some things, um, challenges, obstacles, people, etc., that are trying to like, kind of bog you down or you feel that way. So you're trying to be wise about how you deal with these situations, how you handle these encounters, these experiences. You feel like it all plays a part in your overall health, your overall progress, and your spiritual journey. And that's very good. That's a high level of awareness. I'm very proud of you, my Pisces. Any more messages? Her stay away. So I don't know what could be going on for this first week of October for you guys, but you may want someone to stay away. I feel like I heard someone's energy. So you may be, you know, kind of dealing with some people who have the wrong type of energy and you're going to probably be pushing them off or like separating yourself from them because of that. Next, we have the white witch be the light, which goes with that summer energy I was picking up on. So that's very funny. Um, I feel like you guys are working on yourselves a bit. You're working on becoming wiser, not just trying to handle situations wise. We have two owls, so you may want to look into the meaning of owls. Um, but I feel like you guys are really focusing and trying to move with intent and purpose when you do things now. And you are probably working on yourself. Um, you know, the way you see yourself, the way you are perceived in the world, the way you carry yourself, the, the thought processes and behaviors that you have. You're very focused, I feel like, but also in a lighthearted way. It's not like a heavy anxiety, frustrated, got to do this, stressed out focus. It's more like a, you know, I have things I want to accomplish, things I want to do, things I want to change, etc. And I'm going to handle them. I'm going to take care of them, you know, and starting to boost yourself. For some of you, I feel like I heard like, I'm amazing. Like, you're starting to boost yourself or work on your affirmations or something like that. Heart guardian. Gar oh God, that's a heart guardian. <laughs> heart guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. So some of you could be kind of recuperating from a situation that was not the greatest when it comes to love and or you could be going through one now and that could be playing a role in why you're giving yourself that extra self-love and that extra boost of, you know, confidence, like telling yourself positive things about yourself. Um, like I said, meditating, maybe writing affirmations or listening to affirmations, trying to surround yourself with better energy people um, and, and just like trying to be more careful with your heart. Um, just wanting to be more aware. Of who you love and who you let love you. So we have um, the rod, 
which could say that there could be some family quarrels going on. So that's what I was saying with that energy of you wanting to be lighter and someone bringing negative energy around you. You could have someone in your family um, or close friend circle who feels like family that may be bringing the wrong type of energy towards you. And I feel like you're not standing for it, Pisces. You're probably, you know, removing yourself from this person's... Uh, sorry. You're probably trying to remove yourself from this person's uh, path. Like, you know, kind of maybe keep yourself at a distance or something like that. And then we have the fox. In close proximity, distrust of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you. So, okay. Um, you could also have the realization that someone didn't have your best interest at heart. And it was someone that you loved. Whether they be a family member, a friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, a cousin, something like that, spouse. Uh, I feel like the week of October 1st, you could meet someone and they're not there for you the way you were there for them. Or you could be seeking answers or just solace. I heard solace, like comfort, a shoulder, a hug, um, consideration, a phone call or something. And it doesn't come or it's not given or not offered the way you expected it to after you treated a person a certain way. And I feel like um, you, you just have some realizations possibly during this first part of October about some of your acquaintances and people that you kind of um, opened yourself to. Um, you could find out that some people don't have your best interests at heart. They could be trying to take advantage of you or were trying to take advantage of you. Um, there, there's some level of betrayal, a betrayal feeling um, that could be possible for this first week. It's so crazy. You guys, Pisces, are trying to be so positive. Like, all of your beginning cards, are like, it's just your energy. Like, you're trying to carry yourself positive. You're trying to keep yourself from the wrong people. And then we have possible, yeah, there's definitely possibly a disagreement or argument of some sort that could take place during this first week of October. Um, we got the Five of Swords coming out. I feel like, say what you need to say, but mind your words because, um... You know, you don't want someone to take you out of character and lower your vibration. And that's all I'm going to say about that. That's for you to figure out how to approach. Any more messages from my place? Whoa, too many. Give me a second, guys. All the cards try to jump out for you. Any more messages from my Pisces? First week of October. Any more messages from my Pisces? First week of October. Thank you. Ace of Coins, they're in reverse though. There could be some issues getting your finances off the ground. Some of you could be job hunting right now. You could have just started a business or you could be trying to revamp or just getting back to work and you're just not feeling in the groove. You're not feeling the groove of work. Uh, I heard Lotto, for some of you, you just wish there was just a windfall of money. Like you could just wake up and end up rich. Like you're not feeling the groove of work. This could also play out in your work environment because a lot of us do have to take on jobs that we work, um, you know, a lot of hours. So we spend a lot of time with our coworkers. So they can be like family too. They're, they're your work family. So it could be at home in your personal family. It could be your friend circle or it could be your work family. But there's some type of um, disagreement or disapproval. You guys may need to actually watch out for a coworker too. Someone could be trying to betray you and get the position that you wanted or something. Or could be trying to, you know, throw some dirt on your name or something like that so you can't move up. This Ace of Coins, I'm going to clarify in a minute. Any more messages for Pisces? I don't want you guys to just be paranoid. I feel like it could be about work or a lover where you have to kind of be careful and watch them, but... I'll clarify a bit. Any more messages for Pisces? Okay. I think that may be a oh, message. Whoa, okay. Three of coins in reverse. Yeah, someone is not being a team player. Someone is not coming with the right type of energy or putting in what you were willing to put in or what you have put in when it comes to the connection that you have with them. Let's clarify a bit. First, let's clarify this rod card, please. Thank you. The lovers. Okay, so it could be some issues and arguments going on about a relationship, about someone you're dating, Pisces, or with someone you're dating. It says a loss or pecuniary. Pecu pecu I can't even say the word. So I'm not going to try to. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> but um, okay. Then we have the devil card. Oh gosh. So it could be something about a, a Capricorn um, or a Gemini. Um, or this can just be some toxic energy. Uh, you have to be careful, Pisces. You guys, I feel like, are very dreamy. You are very hopeful and optimistic in general. And then it's easy, so it's easy for you guys to kind of be either taken advantage of or um, to, to see the best in somebody who offer who is offering you the worst. And I don't know, I feel like that's that's the energy that's right there um, for you guys. Like that energy, it, it, it also could be some like sexual energy. Maybe if you're going to have sexual activity this week, you want to be careful with the lovers and the devil card. You and someone could have a very strong, passionate connection. You guys could be wanting to get physical this week. Well, be careful because I feel like it could be some... Uh, betrayal involved or distrust right so we just want to really be careful um with the king of swords in reverse with that five of swords like i said watch your words when you do have an argument or disagreement with somebody this week you want to watch your words i feel like you could really uh cut deep or you could say something that triggers someone else to try to cut you deep and it's it may be permanent damage so i don't know unless you're really sure you want this person going forever or like you want to change the the dynamic of your relationship with this person forever watch your words pisces watch your words we have the high priestess in reverse so the disconnect uh in your financial world could be probably because you are not all the way tapped in you're working on it but like i said you have obstacles coming at you while you have such positive energy that you're trying to develop you're trying to be so positive and so you know forward and progressive and then you have obstacles coming towards you so you really have to tune in and tap in you're not tuned in all the way um to your opportunities and so you're missing some coin you're missing some shingle shingle uh this week possibly if you don't tune in and tap in like i said plus some of your mindsets are just like uh i don't feel like doing this like for those of you who do have a job or who are working you're working really hard you're just like i don't feel like doing this you're not in the best headspace right now when it comes to that okay last one let's see the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with this Three of Coins. So it could be a earth sign that you are having some issues with connecting or, you know, kind of getting to be a team player. Um, but it also could just be that you and someone are not on the same pace. You're not at the same speed. So it's like you guys are trying to create something possibly or work together on something, but it's just not connecting um, because you and this person just seem to be on two different waves wavelengths or two different like speeds two different paces okay whoa that's too many all right let's get a charm oracle for my pisces let's shift for my pisces thank you very much let's for my pisces let's shift for my pisces All right, Pisces, so we have the lipstick card, right? We have try a new thing, value your looks, flaunt your stuff. Truest beauty is within. Self-love, admiration, makeover, appeal, charm, charisma, attraction, pleasure, passion, or secret admirer. So some of you could definitely be getting into um, some sexual activity or possibly going on a date. We have flirty vibes. Playful, fun energy brings good times and memories. So I think that you don't want things to be too heavy this week or the beginning of October. You kind of want to have fun. You realize that, you know, there's a lot coming at you and a lot weighed on you. And I think that in order to keep yourself in a lighter energy, during the first week of October, you're probably going to be like, whatever, you know, like, I look good, I feel good, I smell good. You might go get your hair done, you might get a massage, get your nails done. Maybe you've been trying to stay away from those things because of COVID or something like that. But um, 
you're deciding to pamper yourself a little or get a makeover, change your hair color or hairstyle or something. And then I feel like you have some flirty vibes. So you may be reconnecting with an old flame um, or just someone who, you know, knows how to entertain you or have fun or like um, love you right for the lack of a better term. And I mean adult love. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. The rattle. Change the routine. A shakeup is needed. It will lead to an opportunity. Make a little noise. So there you go. Some of you may not be able to tap in and get the coin like you need to because you need to change the routine. You need to change your approach at work or change your approach um, towards money or budgeting or change your approach towards your job hunt or something like that or starting your business. Something about your routine and the way you're doing things is, is leaving you... Oh, I heard stale energy. It's leaving you in stale energy, okay? So change that, work on that, and I think things will definitely improve from there. I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I will see you in the next reading, my Pisces, who I've tuned in. I feel so special. <laughs> um, I just feel really happy energy right now. So that's good for some of you. I feel like you are in a really happy energy or lighter energy. You're just trying to take on a lot of things that are coming at you. It could be responsibilities. It could be other people's BS. Um, just, like I said, have fun. Be in the moment. Do some pampering with yourself, say those affirmations and, you know, just be really careful who you allow to be in your energy and your space. Okay. See you guys in the next one. Coco readings at gmail.com. Um, if you want a personal reading and yeah, like, share, subscribe and comment. Love and your hugs. Bye.